Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our daily card reading for July 20th, 2021. Let's see what we have going on for today. Rock the boat. I just heard rock the boat. There's that song. <laughs> I hear that. Um, okay. Uh, some Someone is standing up to the school board. Good luck. Okay, that's awesome. Uh, brilliance, discover your sparkle. The number is 26. So again, guys, we have opened the door. We are starting to take a turn. And please, we are not going to do well with this if we are going after this so that we can be above others or so that we can win or you feel like you had a victory. And I fall into this too. I've been sharing the past, you know, few, well, actually past several videos about my past with narcissistic abuse and um, violation traumas, uh, you know, those kinds of things. I've shared that because I'm not afraid of my truth. But that doesn't mean that the, you know, the very idea of what those people represent. So I, I tend to go down the road of like narcissist because it's narcissistic abuse and going down this road of every narcissist is just an evil monster. Why? Because I've had bad experiences with that. But does that make it true? You know, this is not the nicest thing to have somebody who's stuck on themselves, but they aren't necessarily a monster maybe. <laughs> Again, not encouraging bad dynam dynamics or toxic relationships. But if we're going to make this turn, if we're really going to open our hearts and come into this brilliance phase and start attracting in some other things um you know we all need to have some compassion for one another in our stories again this does not equate to acceptance of bad behavior it does not equate to acceptance of you know toxic relationships or toxic dynamics or having people cross your boundaries you know it's nothing of the sort this is a very very special time yes for some of you who are meant to have children you might get news today i'll say, I'll say it so that's going to be happening for some of you um, but this, you know what it feels like? It's just like creative life force and like a, the spark of an idea. But again, if you're coming at this with ego, I've seen so many people, I keep using book examples because I see those kinds of things, but people coming saying, I'm going to write, uh, this book and I'm going to get it published and blah, 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 blah. And it's all ego. They don't go through a traditional publisher, which is fine. I mean, there are lots of options out there. Um, and then they get self-published and then they go around and start bragging about how they're a published author. I mean, that is just an example of how the ego is going to work against you. Yeah, you've got the surface level accomplishment that you pushed on, but what is your message? And if you, like, I, I've just seen so many examples of this where people are pushing work out there and I'm not even sure what their message is. This is that time, this is that kind of day where you're gonna get in touch with your own truth and the beauty of your own truth. And without ego, tell your story or share your art or um, help out a friend who's, you know, if you're somebody who's like, I don't know why this is coming up, but somebody who's completely computer savvy and you see that a friend is struggling or a colleague is struggling and you know how to help, you're not doing it with ego, right? That's about having a true sparkle. <laughs> okay. I hope that makes sense. We're going to leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.